but this guy is like really a, a legitimate folklore type character. Like, almost greater than a Guy Ritchie character because you would never believe a Guy Ritchie character really could be like a top MMA fighter and also one of the greatest armed robbery suspects in the history of the universe. They gave him the nickname Lightning Lee for his knockout power during cage fights and he was once a strong contender feared by many fighters around the world. However, this man was unable to leave behind his life of crime which ultimately led him to becoming the mastermind of one of Britain's biggest cash robberies. This is the bizarre story of Lee Murray. Born in 1977, Murray grew up in the streets of Plumstead in South East London. Earlier on, fighting was the norm for the young Murray and his friends and was a way of fixing disputes, deciding who was the leader and protecting the neighbourhood from rival estates. Murray was fearless and quickly became the undisputed leader of the Botmarsh Boys, a gang that was named after the estate they resided on. Despite Murray's heavy involvement in drug dealing, thievery and other nefarious activities during his teenage years, he also discovered that he could fight and he would later train at two different gyms, London Shoot Fighters in White City for wrestling and Peacock's Gym in Canning Town for boxing. Both these gyms would help hone his skills as a mixed martial arts fighter. I'm Lee Murray from London, England. I'm a valid judo fighter. I come here to fight today in the alternate bat. I don't know nothing about the guy that I'm fighting, so I just wait and see what happens. His first fight would come December 5th, 1999, where he would knock out his opponent in the first round, living up to his nickname, Lightning Lee. Sometime after, Murray would later travel to the US to train at the renowned Militich Fighting Systems Camp, ran by former UFC welterweight champion, Pat Militich. At this stage, he was pouring his heart and soul into the career as an MMA fighter. <laughs> Several fights, including three brutal rounds against Anderson Silva, who he would take his second loss to, he finally earned a contract with the UFC. A path of fame and untold riches lay before him if he continued to win. However, as described by UFC president Dana White, Lee Murray is a scary son of a bitch both inside and outside the octagon. In June 2004, he almost beat to death a motorist who sideswept his car. He was indicted and as a result was denied a work visa to the US, seriously hindering his career in the UFC. The charges were eventually dismissed, but in 2005, Murray was hospitalized after being stabbed multiple times in a brawl during the birthday party of Lauren Pope, who at the time was a glamour model. He suffered a punctured lung and a severed artery injuries that unfortunately would prevent Murray from continuing his career. With his dreams of becoming a successful fighter now fading, Murray fell back to the streets and started planning the biggest score of his criminal life. On February 21st, 2006, Murray and his gang of seven would execute one of the largest cash robberies in Britain at the Securitas Depot in Kent. This is how it was carried out. Disguised as policemen, the gang pulled over the car of Colin Dixon, the manager of the Securitas Depot, and told him to take a back seat in what looked like an unmarked police car. Dixon had no reason not to trust the police and got in, but inside he was handcuffed and driven to a farm where he was reunited with his wife and eight-year-old son who had also been taken hostage. Now wearing balaclavas, carrying handguns, AK-47s and shotguns, the gang entered the depot at around 1am. Once inside, they tied up 14 members of staff and started moving money into a waiting 
van. In just under two hours, Murray and his gang left the depot 53 million pounds richer. And what's even more interesting is that the gang actually had to leave behind 153 million simply because it wouldn't fit inside their van. On the surface, the operation was a success. Everything went to plan and these guys were clearly professionals. But their luck would disappear within just two days with police making five arrests and recovering close to 20 million pounds through various raids and searches. With the police on their tail, Murray and his right hand man, Paul Allen, fled to Morocco. Since his father was Moroccan, Murray was granted immediate citizenship upon birth and would be safe from extradition to Britain. The two men would go on a spending spree, buying villas, drugs and jewellery and spending thousands on plastic surgery for their partners. Inside Murray's $1.5 million mansion, he even had a life-size mural of his favourite UFC fight painted on the wall. Unbeknownst to Murray and Allen, British authorities were working with Moroccan police. After months of surveillance, they were able to arrest them for cocaine possession and resisting arrest in June 2006. Given Lee Murray's experience in martial arts and firearms, Moroccan police stated that they had to use specialist techniques to arrest the suspects. Once arrested, Kent police revealed that they will be seeking his extradition from Morocco back to Britain. However, since there's no treaty between the UK and Morocco, the process was delayed and eventually rejected. Extra Extradition cannot take place if the person wanted in extradition is a Moroccan national. He is Moroccan national. We have proven that many, many months ago. Murray's birth certificate shows his father is Moroccan. And at birth, Murray was given two Moroccan names. Murray was convicted of the Securitas Depot robbery and was originally sentenced to 10 years in prison within Morocco. However, his sentence was then extended to 25 years in November 2010 after prosecutors argued that his original sentence was too lenient. Now, the 43-year-old gangster turned fighter turned gangster again only has glorious memories of his past and perhaps persistent thoughts of what if. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe and let me know who we should look into next.